Hey guys, this is Srishti Rao, the regional makeup trainer for Lentwork Cosmetics. So today I'm going to show you how to get this look. So let's get started. I'm going to be starting off with my Lentwork makeup fixer. First, I'm just going to be spraying this all over my face, just like this. Yeah, and I'm just going to use my fingertips to just sort of blend it into the skin just like that so that my skin is hydrated i've already done my skincare routine i've applied my moisturizer my spf and yeah so after that i'm just applying the lenfers hydrating mist and i'm just it's actually a makeup fixer but you can use it before as well before makeup as well as after makeup so your makeup will last for longer as well as make your skin look dewy and nourished so this is how my skin looks right now next step i'm going to be using the primer i'm using the aqualicious primer from lenfo aqualicious hydrating primer and i'm just going to be taking some on my fingertips uh, it's a cream based um, primer so I'm just going to be using this on my cheek area on my nose on my forehead as well as my chin I'm just going to avoid the under eye area because under eye area is a little more sensitive so I wouldn't recommend using a lot of product under your eye because the skin under your eye is a little thin as compared to your facial the other parts of your pit face so yeah i'm gonna avoid that i'm gonna now. start my makeup by doing my eyes so i'm going to be using the flawless compact from lenfer in the shade beige as a base so i'm just going to use my finger and apply this on the lids on my eyelids So I'm just doing this and I'm doing the same thing on the no, other eye. Once that's done, I'm going to be using this pencil in the shade Gold by Nature um, in the Timeless Eyeliner. And I'm just going to see to that it is nicely sharpened like mine is. Just going to be applying this gold um, eyeliner all over my lid and I'm just going to be blending it out with my uh, fingertip just like this next I am going to use this um, green eye pencil it is known as the smudge me eye pencil in the shade misty green and this is how it looks it comes with a smudger on the back side and this is the shade and I'm just going to use this as an eyeliner so I'm just going to be drawing a line very close to my lash line And I'm just winging it out just like this. Can you see the color? I'm just going to darken this out a little. Just like so. And I'm just going to be bringing this towards the inner corner of my eye just like this I'm going to be doing the same thing on this side as well so you can have a look at it again so i'm just drawing a line very close to my lash line i'm 
and I'm just kind of scribbling over it again and again just to get that intensity and I'm getting it close to my to the inner corner of my eye and then lastly I'm just going to draw a wing just like this yeah I'm just gonna see if both my eyeliner are matching and I'm gonna be doing the same thing again just running over with the pencil so that I have the perfect color intensity and I don't want this wing to be like very stark so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just going to use this blending uh, brush on the back of my pencil and I'm just going to kind of blend it out just to give that smoky kind of a finish because out here we are not using an eyeshadow so I'm just doing that giving that eyeshadow kind of an effect with the pencil itself by blending it out just the edge I'm not blending out the entire thing because otherwise then the color won't be very visible so I'm just doing the same can you see the difference so I'm doing the same thing out here as well next I am going to do my base so for as for my base I'm using this BB cream from Lenfer and yeah I'm gonna be applying this all over I'm just going to be dotting this all over my face focusing on the areas that I am breaking out and which need coverage since this is not giving me much coverage I'm going to be um, building this up so I'm going to use some more product on my skin just to get that coverage that I need so I'm just doing this again this procedure again just like so and I'm just taking my beauty blender and see to that it is um, a little damp and I'm just going to be tapping this all over my face just like this so this product contains tea tree oil which is really going to help me with my acne and it is also going to nourish my skin because of course my skin is a little dry and it's getting like patchy I don't know what, what it is it is a season or is it because of some hormonal changes or I don't know what is the deal with my skin what is wrong with my skin but yeah so I'm just using the BB cream like so that you know I don't uh, have a lot of product on my face and it's like you know lightweight even though this makeup is uh, sort of heavy like my eyes are going to be heavy and uh, but I still prefer keeping my base a little light by using the BB cream because I don't I already have some kind of allergies going on on my face so I do not want to um, use anything heavy that will clog my pores so that's the reason why I use this BB cream it feels very light on my face and it also will treat my acne since it has tea tree oil so let's hope for the best so yeah I have uh, dabbed this into my skin now let's move on to my brows so I'm going to be using the get set so is brow. the get set brow pen that I'm going to be using on my brows I have spoken about this earlier as well and uh, so this really glides on very well onto my brows and it gives me the perfect coverage and I just love this product. This is one of my favorite products. I'm going to be talking about these my favorite products from Lenfer in my next video. So stay tuned, guys. So yeah, I'm just going to be uh, running this over my brows in its natural shape, and I'm just going to be filling in the gaps. I don't have much gaps, but then of course I really love dark brows and very uh, well shaped brows because brows is something that just frames your face. And it just completes your eye makeup like you know magic literally and this pen just works like magic can you see the difference and with a no time it just filled my entire brow it's just so magical I mean this is superb guys I highly recommend this product mm. so yeah I'm just doing this on uh, my other brow as well So that is done. I 
I love this product. I love this product. I don't know. It's like no matter how much I say I love this product, it's less. Literally. Anyways, moving on. My under eye area also needs a little bit more coverage. I feel because it's slightly dark. So I'm using the same baby cream. I'm just taking this a little drop of it, and I'm just going to use my finger, and I'm just dotting this under the eye, just like so, and under my wing as well that we created. So yeah. I'm just doing this. So can you see the difference? It has kind of concealed the darkness under my eyes as compared to this one. So I'm doing the same thing on this side as well. So I'm just oh got some product on my skin instead of my brows. Next, I'm going to be using the same pencil that we used for my eyeliner, the Smudge Me Eye Pencil in the shade Misty Green for uh, my waterline as well running it all over and also getting it a little lower than my waterline onto my lash line just like this and I'm just smudging this with the back brush again and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extending this line and attaching it to the wing that we created earlier on top just like this just kind of making it slightly darker This I'm going to be doing it on the other side as well. So my eyes are done. As you can see, this looks super gorgeous. I love this eye pencil, guys. It's so good. It is so good. Within no time, I created such a glamorous look. I don't think I would be able to achieve this look with an eyeshadow in so little time. Um... This like barely took me about uh, five minutes, I would say. So yeah, that is done. And I just uh, applied a little bit more uh, uh, of my BB cream under my eyes just to give it a, give it a little more coverage because I just felt like my under eyes was looking a little bit too dull. And I applied a little bit of uh, mascara as well. I'm so sorry I forgot to film it, but I will uh, film it. The next time I'm doing it, I use the Lash Delicious uh, Mascara from Lenfer again. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how I completed my eyes. And now next, let's move on to my blush and to let's do up my lips and let's wrap it up. A uh, quick blush from Lenfer. It is known as the Cheek Delicious Blush in the shade Pink Pop. This is one of my favorite shades. I use this all the time because it is like super subtle and it is not very uh, jazzy. It doesn't look too much on my... Uh, skin so I really like it because if I go for a darker shade then this probably will just stand out very uh, it'll look very loud on my uh, face so yes yeah, so I'm just going to be using my beauty blender and I'm using the other side of my beauty blender and I'm just tapping some product on over it and I'm just going to smile and just uh, tap it from the center of my cheek and I'm going to be going on moving in my in an upward motion I have made a video on how to apply blush in a perfect way, so you can check that out. So yeah, you can always uh, build up the product as per uh, your, as per the intensity you want, your preference, as per your preference. So yeah, I'm just doing this on the other side as well. I love this technique of using a beauty blender to apply blush and to apply like overall makeup I feel because it's super convenient than using like 10 other brushes so I think this one sponge should just do all the work so yeah I am just blending this in an upward direction and that's done I'm using the leftover on my nose a little and oh my chin as well so yep 
Next, let's move on to my lips. So I'm going to use these two products. This is the Rebel Lip Liner from Lenovo and the Velvet Stick Lipstick from Lenovo. These two, and this is in the shade. The lip liner is in the shade Nude. Right, so my lipstick is in the shade uh, Flattering Nude, and I have already applied this all over my lip, just like this. Mm, I feel like there's something missing. The look is of course complete, but I just feel like there is something missing. Um, I think a highlighter is missing. So let's do that. Let's highlight the face. So I'm going to be using the Gleaminator Primer from uh, Lens Fur. Uh, so basically this is uh, a little bit tinted and it uh, comes in uh, like it has a little shimmer to it. So you can see it has a little shimmer. I've just taken a, just a dot because I don't want to, of course, like once you flatten it, it's like a lot of product as you can see. So this is a uh, primer used for that uh, highlighting look and to make your skin glow. So I'm just going to use this above my blush. I'm just going to tap a little bit, just like so. A little bit over my nose and on my chin area also. I'm just going to take my uh, beauty blender and take all the um, remaining product from the back of my hand. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be blending it into the blush. Just like this. So can you see the glow, guys? Just doing the same thing on the side as well. So that's done. And my skin looks completely illuminated and dewy and glowy. As you guys can see, you can just blend out the stuck parts with your hand itself, with your fingertips. I think fingertips works the best for blending. This is what I feel. So this is my completed look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.